Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Shouting Electronics. As you can hear, the lab is a bit quieter, so you can hear me a lot more clearer. And there's a reason for that. Several weeks ago, I was at the shopping mall and there was a lightning storm outside. So I turned to my son and said, Yo, listen, we should have unplugged the ADS online before we, before we left. Famous last words. So after being at the shopping center, we come back and there's no power. Try to reset the earth leakage, it doesn't reset until I eventually go around and unplug in everything from the plugs and I find a surge protector that's faulty. Not just faulty, destroyed. So I'm going to show you that surge protector, but it didn't end there. It also caused a lot of other damage to equipment on my network, as well as the ADSL line cord and the ADSL POTS filter. So let's show you all the damaged stuff and what lighting can really do. Okay, this might look like an odd and very confusing angle for the shot. The reason for this is my networking equipment is under my office computer desk. And let me just drop you guys on your head there for a bit. Yeah, that's okay. Try to get the lights in place here as well. Okay, so here is my ADSL router. Maybe I should switch this drill off hammer action. And this white box over here is a network switch, a smart network switch. So let's pull that out as well. <coughs> Nicely secured in with tech screws. There we go. Okay, so let's look at the first thing that gave us a sign that there was a problem. This is a double adapter with a two pin output that was plugged in and this was protecting my computer. So at least my computer was protected from the surge, from the lightning. If you look over here, this MOV surge protector, the metal oxide Varista, is missing something. Yes, it's missing a whole big chunk of its side plate. And it's actually dead shorted from the earth through to the neutral terminal. Okay, so this thing can go in the bin. Then there was also the telephone line cord, which was open circuit, but I don't have that anymore. My wife took care of that for me. Here is the ADSL splitter that you put on the telephone line to separate the ADSL, or to filter out the ADSL noise from the ADSL modem from going into your telephone and making an ugly screeching noise. Also stops the telephone instrument from interfering with the ADSL router signal. So this would have, in that case I don't have a telephone. So this just plugged into the router and into the line. Nice skid marks charring there. And then if we look at the ADSL filter itself, that's basically just basic parts. It's got three capacitors, two inductor choke or transformers, and a few jacks. If you look underneath, there's a pretty nice damage. Comes in the telephone, telephone line comes in over here. It's blown out that track over there. Hope this is in focus and blown out that track over there, and blown out that track over there. So that's why obviously I didn't have any internet. Well, that's one of the reasons. So this shows that something happened, probably a lightning strike on the phone line somewhere, and then came in and exited through the house's neutral, basically, or through the house's earth. Step three, the ADSL router. Here's where the line from that filter plugs in your normal power, and then the network imports. And as soon as I took this one off, let's get rid of this tech screw there. As soon as I took this one off, it sounds not too healthy. This one was just not giving me a connection. I couldn't access the router or anything like that. So 
So let's pop this open. At least I had a spare network switches, spare ADSL routers and line cords so that I could get everything up and running again. But of course we've got another electrical storm outside at the moment. So if it gets closer then I'm going to obviously unplug because I don't have too many spares of things. This, this ADSL router I've actually had for quite a while. If you look on my private channel, the channel before I actually starts a chat in electronics, you'll, I'll put a link in down below, where you can actually see, I did a video about hacking into or connecting up to the serial port that's inside this unit and re flashing it away from the branded software that locks things down so you can't do too much with it. Too bad I don't remember how to open it. So we can just do a bit of brute force. Okay, so now we are into the ADSL router. Which I'm getting very nervous now. Because I haven't uh, I haven't opened this before, so well I haven't opened this since the bang. Of course, wife approved everything that I go through here. It needs to go into the bin. And I actually like this router because I, I had my Linux, um, my Linux Raspberry Pi, no, or, my Linux Orange Power Box. I'm putting off stats of it, of my line speeds and data throughput and everything like that. So it was a nice one. It gave me quite detailed stats. Ah, lovely. Went blown. Right by the phone line input. Okay. Let's take you in a bit. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. And looking over here. This was a capacitor. Over here. This still looks like a capacitor, but it's a blown up capacitor. There's a part of the capacitor lying around there. There's a little transformer, line transformer. And if we're looking nice and close in there, we've got some more blown parts. Let me try to get it in closer if it will stay in focus, 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 focus. Those are resistors on the Ethernet transformer, on the mags for the Ethernet jack. I don't see any damage on the back. But basically, yeah. So it's blowing this telephone line input section. And it's blown over here by the one network port. And if you look over here at this chip, I don't think it's supposed to have a little window looking out to the world. So that's not a that's not a nice little window. It's obviously let the magic smoke out, and when you let the smoke out of things like this, they don't like working anymore. Because this is Wife approved for the bin. We don't care too much about taking heat sinks off and that. There is our main microprocessor. Try to do this in a nice short video. I can barely read that. Let's read the micro. It's a Broadcom, Broadcom chipset. And if you look underneath, there's our memory chip. Nice little, nice little rocker, rock and roll. Of course, something like this, it's mass produced, it's not really worth trying to fix it, especially if there's so much damage now. If you do fix it, there could be latent damage that will just show up later, so. Okay, so these things being cheap enough and there's always new upgrades and things like that, it's not really worth repairing this. So, into the bin, it goes. Okay, now this is my network switch, my 3Com 3C169, my 3Com 3C169 
86A SuperStack 3 network switch. That's got 24 10 100 network ports and one one gig network ports. But I bought this on an auction quite cheaply, and I was glad to use it because it gave me a lot of granular stats on in and out of each port, and that's which is just nice. I like data. I like raw raw data. So I like the thing. Only thing is, it was quite noisy with the fans blowing and things like that. And yeah, mainly just noisy and big, considering that I'm only using about I'd say about ten or twelve ports at the moment. But I want to hook this up to power, and let's see what it was doing. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Oh, it's already blown up. Oh, straight away I'm getting that nice whiff of something. Okay, you see a self-test light flashing there, the power self-test. And that's what it does. Lights all the ports. Put one into a blinking. Packet of status. This is basically failing at self-test and not starting up anymore. Which is a pity because now I'm using a dumb network switch that just lets traffic go everywhere. It's not going without a fight. So I don't want to be dissected. I saw what happened to the ADSL router. I don't want to go the same way. Oh no. Okay, this is a nice looking thing inside. Oops, sorry. Before we do that, I'm just checking for any skid marks or anything in here. Just a bit of rust in this cover over there. Nothing indicated of something hitting its head on the, on the shield. Okay, so here is our nice 3COM 24 ports 10100 network switch with 1 gig. Okay, so over here, we've got the power supply section. Comes in there. So switch mode power supply, standard configuration, then it gives out power there onto the main board. Thanks guys for not labeling what voltage is. So. But it is booting up, so I take it that it's something blown on the ports themselves that's causing it to fail that self-test. So the power supply is Probably still good, unless it went through the power supply down to earth. Which it probably did. That's why it blew that cert protector. I'm just looking over here, no damages or anything like that. But no visible damage. And here is our main port. Got our 3Com GEDI. Oh, we got a Jedi here. Jedi processor. And then we got a badgie. We've got a 3 com badgie. That's all Lucent branded chips, a 3 com. We've got a miner, a miner, a miner, a miner, a miner, a miner. All different types of birds, a miner. So we've got a lot of birds, we've got a badgie, we've got a Jedi, and we've got all these Lucent, which I presume are the magnetics for the ports. I wish I knew which port my ADSL router was plugged into. It was probably plugged into port number one. Which would have been this top port over here. I think the only thing to do is really pull this out. And look at the board itself. With all the budgies and the miners flying around and the little parts flying out. So this isn't going to be so much of a repair video because it's not really worthwhile repairing any of these because it's old technology. Just to look at what Lightning did to my small home network. Oh, we've got lots of little things. Oh, there's a matrix port. Now we've got a matrix here as well. We've got Jedi's, we've got budgies, we've got miners, and we've got a matrix. Oh. 
but I've got a lightning jumping around inside the scene still. I can hear the thunder outside. Yo! Look at this beauty! Hmm. Look at this. Oh, you can see all those. There goes my screwdriver across the thing. All these little veers. Millions of veers. This thing looks. Wow. Okay. Because <laughs> you just said admiring this board porn here. Okay, so this is the section that would have taken the hit from port 1, which was on the ADSL router. I can't see anything obvious there. Of course, if it does short out something inside one of these logic chips, it will fail a self-test, and that's basically it. And we just had a hit on the power line, which caused the lights to dip. When lightning hits the power line, Basically, the surge protector shuts everything down to ground, which causes a short power dip, light dip for a bit. UPS is running with TV and that goes crazy. But yeah. But I love this. I love the underside of this board. I love it. I want to stick it up on my wall or something. Of course, not quite proof sticking it up on the wall. Let's pull the power supply. I think I'll take a photo, photo of that board just now. Now I'm sure you can hear that on the side. Stay away from my network, please. I still have to recover from this exercise. Yeah, okay, that's a bit uh, grainy. Oh, great, I'm sounding like Big Clive now. Yeah, it's a grimy. And yeah. Yeah, it's. Looking for a paintbrush, so initially grab a hammer. Well, maybe that'll do it. Yeah, just clean the power supply. So here is our power supply. It doesn't look like many rails. Of course this isn't going to go in the bin. This is going to go into the box for spare parts that I can use somewhere. And I guess I'm going to have to unplug my ADSL router shortly. I just want, to <sighs> I want you guys to actually see what I'm seeing on this board. Please camera focus on it. No, just a normal little, oh, there we go. Don't know if you're seeing it as nicely as I'm seeing it. All the zigzaggy traces to make it all match. Okay, so this is what I should have done the other day. Plug that kills my workbench lights. So I'm gonna plug my workbench directly in, and then we unplug the ADSL router on the phone line. Okay, now let me just get a green pop now. Okay, so let me take a nice photo of that board just to share it with you all. I'm any more what? Okay, so here's my new piece of wall art that's not wife approved yet and it's not hanging straight. So, I hope you enjoyed this look at my misfortune or 
fortune depends on how you look at it. Yes, we had a lightning strike, it did blow out one or two things, but it gave us a nice little look of how destructive lightning can actually be and the path that it can travel from the telephone lines out in the streets, from the exchange or whatever, through the ADSL router, through the network switch, going through to ground, but the surge protector took the rest of the surge and gave up its life, which also protected the computer and the other equipment that was on the network switch, so that was well designed. Obviously, I'm not going to edit this video now or upload it now because that'll be stupid. But, I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, hit the subscribe button, and share it. Thank you.